come to a conclusion. We are just now getting all the blessings that I've been waiting for for the entire first year in field. Why? Because referrals are might as well be falling from the sky. They're coming from every source but our own tracting. It's incredible. I can't even describe the success we're having. Let me give you a couple examples. One, Saturday morning, a guy named Louis shows up for English class. In fact, he's the only person that shows up for English class. Louis from Colombia has been in contact with missionaries for two years. First time he met them was in Australia. He wanted to find out more, but he how you say he went home before he got a chance to. He comes here two months ago. He's walking around downtown Toronto. Missionaries approach him. Hey, come to English class because his English is very broken. So he's been going to English class for over a month over at Broadview, which is very far from here. But he lives actually just down that way. Probably had a good glare and couldn't see anything, but you get the point. He lives down the street from us, man. So he he lives close and he comes to English class like, hey, you know, yeah, just like totally cool. So it's just a matter of time before we uh, pop a gator invitation on him. Who else? We get in mysterious. It's mysterious because we don't know who it's from. Media referral. Um, we go and find this guy named Armando Anaya on Jameson Street, my favorite street. Um, he's bedridden, practically, from an alcohol overdose. But he's teachable. We go in, and he understands, and he. It's really hard to explain what's the situation with Armando because he. His feedback is, is weird. Like, he trails off and says weird things. He doesn't... He doesn't seem like he's completely there. Like, like there was some mental damage to it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like, we feel good. We feel urged to go back. And keep going back. Now, this is just a weird thought off the wall. But it has... This has come to mind. What if we're just preparing him? What if, um... He's not going to stick around very much longer? And it's our job just to just to get him set up for what's gonna what he's gonna be taught next. I don't know. I just that thought just came to mind today. But I don't know. But it's hard to say because I don't know. Third meter or third good cool incredible situation this week. We get another media referral. It's time for an English Bible. Um, we. Look at the address, Tandora, everybody's favorite Spanish-packed downtown building. The name sounds familiar, too. Grace. Turns out to be it is a member. And I kind of had the... I kind of thought that this is... I just from, from hearing something in passing, I figured. English Bible, maybe it's for... Karin, the daughter, the, the daughter, her boyfriend, maybe it's for him. I was right. It was him. We met 20-something Italian Sonny. And Sonny's a guy that's lived a very smooth life, but he's taken it roughly. My diagnosis would be lack of conflict, frustration, boredom. has left him rough around the edges, not to mention godless. So we start teaching Sonny yesterday. We taught him the first. It was one of the most sincere firsts ever. He pauses, he asks his questions, he paid attention. You know, even though he had concerns, he, he accepted what we taught him. He loved all of it. Like, coming from someone that didn't like organizations and religions, he says he accepted all of it and was very anxious about having us come back again. So that's... Oh. Interesting. But it's really cool. Like, we... Me and Hans felt really good about... About, uh... Sunny. So we go with just people like falling from the sky, just coming to us to be taught. It's amazing. Like we worked our butts off for over a year to to find people to teach, and now they're just they're everywhere. They really are. 
can't explain it. I guess maybe it's a gift for, for my patients. Either way, I'm dying to hit the sack because hockey wasted us today, so I'm going to do so ASAP. Hope everybody has a good night.